hi guys hello everyone welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for tuning in so yeah if you're new here guys my name is barbara thank you so much for coming so do consider staying with the channel by subscribing to it and don't forget to press that notification bell for future videos guys uh thank you so much for coming you're yeah, very very welcome in today's video guys what i'm going to do in this video i think i'm going to touch a few topics uh first of all i just wanna uh uh Pass my condolences to the family of Osiabonga Zwane, which is a guy who is uh, playing on uh, Igomora, guys. He's an actor, and then I heard that this guy passed away a few days ago. Is it a few days or just yesterday, guys? His name is Tumo. On I, I, I watch Gomora. I do not really watch it like every episode you know what i say i say i'm saying so yeah guys i heard this guy passed away and he was 26 years old and then i saw him trending on social media that this komara guy has passed away at 26 uh, I, don't, I don't know guys may his soul rest in peace uh, condolences to the family and everyone else he, his colleagues, uh, the Gomorra, you know, the Gomorra family and everyone. My condolences, you guys, even though I didn't really know about him so much, but I saw the guy on Gomorra as I watched it. I didn't know his name is called Siabonga Zubane. And oh, it's not 26 years, it's 23 years, correction day, 23. He was so young, you guys, shame man. Uh, that's very sad. Like I said, condolences to everybody, his friends, family, and colleagues, and everything else, guys. Yeah, like our South African celebrities, really. Gubi, guys, people who are passing away. Uh, yo, in a way, you would see, guys, it's shocking, but, anyways, guys, what can we do? Uh, condolences, guys. This is the, the first thing that I wanted to talk about about this Gomorrah guy. It's not nice. So that's my topic number one. I just wanted to really talk about that, you know, like. Whew. Okay, let's go to topic number two, guys. I, I, I want to discuss Umislali again. I want to discuss Umislali again because there's a video that I made yesterday that I posted about Mislali at some pub, kissing a particular guy, wearing a white jeans. I see there are two pictures that made Mislali trade. So, I mean, I did a video about that one. Where she was sitting uh, at that pub, whatever, kissing some guy, people saying this is not Mislali. This even for me, I was like, this does not look like Mislali. I want to have fun, have fun, I'm a blonde, I'm a hairstyle, I'm a fun, you know. Uh, then I saw other people saying, really, it, it is Mislali. She was saying, kissing, yeah, this is the, the that little guy. I was like, okay. Sometimes, I want sometimes when it comes to it dressing, sometimes someone is dressed up, you see they are very small and slim. Sometimes the Farama Sudu, they look like they are big. For me, I saw that small boy, La Panagaga. That is called the Primi. I don't know if that was a bar or whatever, guys. I saw it, it is written Primi or whatever on the wall. I, I thought that's not Michelle and, and the Leroy guy. It, it looked for me because people were kissing, they were so close. I couldn't tell if it's Michelle or if it's Leroy. But I saw other people saying, Mislali was here kissing with Leroy in public, which means Vele Mislali has taken this man like lawfully, like, <laughs> you know, like Vele into a Bunjibai publicizer, they don't care with the guy, is a married guy. And then I saw another picture again, guys. So I'm like, that time they were really kissing and I said they were in Botswana and Mislali happened to post that picture and then deleted it. So which means before she can delete the picture, a uh, People who wrote the screenshot. <laughs> the other one, at the premiere, I guess it's not her who took the picture. Maybe it's people who took the picture and posted it. And, but the, this one, where she was with the guy, really all smiles. It is said to be the or whatever it is, with this little guy. I'm not but a married guy. Also, she was going around with uh, with their slave queens or whatever. They are, they are, they are, they are side chicks, whatever you call it, guys. Do you think this little guy is still with his wife? I mean, I, it, it, it gets me thinking. There is no way Umisai can be up and down, up and down in public with this guy if his marriage is still going very well. What if there is something that we don't know behind that marriage, like behind closed doors? There is something that in a we don't know. We just know who this little guy has got a wife. But we don't know who 
what is happening. There's no way he can be there and there with Mithali in public and taking photos and all that and publishing the pictures. I find it very funny. I don't know, guys. What if we will pepperize too much with she's still a married man, she's still a married man, and maybe the man is no longer married? I don't know, guys. Or maybe she broke the marriage. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But will you be proud, though, if you broke the marriage, you won, the wife lost, and then you take the man from the person? Or maybe they already had their problems there, what, what, what? We don't know, guys. This is the problem with me because there is no way Mishali can be uh, out here with this guy. Where we saw the picture, the two of them kissing. If that was them, though, because Mina gives me that. You want to lay at the same as I I don't get it. But the other one, where they are all smiles and then they, it is said they were in Botswana, that one. There is no way Mr. Sally can be everywhere else with this guy. Maybe this is the guy uh, already ruined his marriage, whatever it is. Since they were saying that he's got so many slave queens. So maybe he already ruined his marriage and then he prefers to go with Miss Lali. I, we don't know, guys. So I find Miss Lali trending. I even saw the video. I got slick talk. <laughs> I saw another one, Egan Dibuti and, and, and her husband, where Dibuti's husband really explained something about like he made a, a, such a such a beautiful example about love you know like if you are people who are in the house and then you leave the doors and the windows open for other people to come in instead if you close the doors and the windows there were no people who, like really saying ugudi liro is the one who ruined his marriage by bringing by leaving the windows and the doors open for misari to make her way in and to kick the wife out all that thing that the guy was explaining to me, it really made sense. I think, yeah, he, he, he made a really good example. Uh, I'm talking about Ndibuti's husband. Because, yeah, man, if Nisha did and and when you open the window for someone to come in, you are, you are, you are to blame because you are the one who is uh, bringing people into your marriage and you allow people to come in and destroy your very own marriage, you know. So, yeah, man, guys, maybe we can sit here and attack and attack this Michelin Damase guy. Michelin Damase girl. Can't even come in a Utole, go for the Masako ride, Lapia. We don't know. Like, like I'm saying, we don't know the situation. So, for me, all I'm saying, there is no way a Michelin can be up and down, no Leroy. Ever only Leroy, Esha, Dili, Ehambe, Ama trips to Abu Bozana, Gupi, Gupi, no, no Michelin. Maybe there's something that we are just not told, okay? So even if she ruined that marriage and she won and she's in, it means the guy really allowed Michali to come into his marriage and his wife. Oops. But uh, it's not really nice to know that with a nyinga tanda to shadile, uh muzwabo I went into between them and then the wife ended up leaving and then I'm comfortable to go in and feel free and even make these trips with my men to my my stolen men. Even though guys yeah for me like you don't steal a man, okay? You don't steal uh so I won't be comfortable if I if I was Miss Lali and I broke that marriage and Ufazo Hambile and I uh, um like Clearly, comfortably, like really pretend like I didn't break someone's marriage. For me, I wouldn't be comfortable. For her, maybe she or she's comfortable. If, uh, if the wife is no longer there, we don't know because I I refuse. Uguti, they can be they can be up and down, up and down. Lo baba besha dile benzo unge la matrips ngati kona inte enga slangan esinga ya ziti na so we can sit down and talk a lot. Which I would maybe Uliro if I am shut to work or more she lay in herself. That's why maybe he prefers to keep Mishali because maybe the wife is no longer or maybe the wife is there. Maybe he sat down with his wife and then they had some conversation and Mishali is allowed. Fella like guys, like honestly speaking, Amayama relationships are, are complicated in a way which you will be shocked if or finding out what the wife knows about the girlfriend. You know that so what if that is the situation again? What if Map Leroy and his wife are no longer really uh together like properly nicely, like you know, like you know, 
and then Lilo he chooses to keep on with me. Sadly, we don't know the situation, but all I'm saying, if I was Mesali and I walked into that marriage, my Moshe and someone walked out and then I'm in, I, would, I wouldn't be comfortable. Besides, if these guys were not married, but if they were married, I can't be comfortable. But if they were not married in Jebebe, fat and seated, you know, like, Nako Naveli guys, you know, like, they said he was a married man. That's what I knew. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. So, whew, there's a lot going on there. But anyway, if they are happy, they are happy. What is one? What is going on? That is the mental thing that I wanted to talk about, you know. And then I also heard uh, something. Let us move on to topic number three. I heard something about a London, London. London, London. We saw her a uh, reunion at the uh, um, the Real Housewives of Devon. And guys. Okay, we said congratulations to her, she's pregnant. And then after that, I see stories that she was kicked out by her man. Ebe Kulelwe, the guy kicked him out. And then I see stories and stories. She moved out from where they, live, they lived and moved out to somewhere because the guy kicked him out. I was like, you know. So how does your man kick you out when we are pregnant? Besides, if he corner in dollar per eighty, maybe yeah. I even read uh, some 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 people saying um, the guy is like suspecting that the child is not his. That's why he kicked Lonely London out. That is something that really bothered me, and I wanted to talk about it. It's funny how I don't know if it's is her husband or just her man, uh, his spouse, whatever it is, guys. Kick me out while I'm pregnant. We are sure that there is something about this pregnancy. And then I saw other comments where it was said to the people were saying, yeah, this guy kicked him out because saying the child is not his. And then, you, uh, it's, it's so much going on there about Lonely London's pregnancy and then her man not really, uh, not sure if uh, the child is his. Or maybe she was, she had someone else besides this man and now this man is not really taking the pregnancy. Like, he's not happy with the pregnancy, that's what I heard. So I wanted to talk about that as well when it comes to Lonely London. And then while we are still there, got Lonely London's pregnancy drama, there's a thing that, that, that was spoken about Makumalo there, where Makumalo mentions who the <laughs> cologne went missing. <laughs> and then people were talking about that. Who stole the cologne? Who stole the cologne? La Paraga, the real housewives, guys. Who do you think could have stole Leah cologne? And who does that, guys, when it comes to La Mandum Bazana? It drama Abanayo, La Paraga, the real housewives <laughs> of Devon. It drama Ekoyo, I, I mean, like, why would you take someone else's colon besides it went missing as in England? Like, how did that colon go missing? And who took it? I'm still on that one as well because I noted that one down. But I want to talk about this colon drama and I want to find out who. The colon is Makumalus. And who took it and why? You know, that question. Who took it and why? Because I, I, I would like to believe Guti, all those girls, they are, you are one of girl, but like, you know, there is no way you can be out there stealing Ama Cologne. Besides, if Unengulumo or Uneng or the particular person, some lions or each other, some liar. And so I'm like, who stole it and why when they didn't look Because there's a Cologne thing that was spoken about when Makumalo said the Cologne went missing and all that. So when I did the first video a review, I didn't really speak about the colon because I kind of forgot. And then now I'm like, you know what, I want to speak about the colon drama because I want to find out. And when this colon thing is spoken about, it's out in the public. I'll be back with another video because right now I'm just with questions. Who could have stolen that colon and why? Why would, why would you do that, you know? So that one is just a question mark. I'll be back. <laughs> I will be back about that one. I was like, what? You know, so these are the topics that I wanted to touch, guys, when it comes to today's video. I really wanted to touch those topics. I made it in one video because I realized I'm not going to be long about them. So I can just make one video about them. 
and so yeah guys thank you so much for listening to me if you know what he if you suspect who could have stolen that colon, guys, please comment down below. Let us continue communicating. And who uh, why, guys? I like I wanna understand very good. Uban on a very colon and why. And I'm still also digging uh, when it comes to that, you know. And let us also communicate about Londi London's baby daddy kicking her out while she's been pregnant and the doubts about the baby and all that. What do you think about that? What's your take on that one, guys? Do comment down below. Let us keep the conversation going. I know we spoke about Miss Lali and, and, and Haley Roy out here in the public, not really ashamed about anything. But she's ashamed because why did she post the picture and then delete it, you know? All those things. You also comment down below about that. Let us keep the conversation uh, going, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more stories, guys. For more topics, hot topics that we talk about in this channel, guys. Do not forget, again, to like my video before you you guys i will really appreciate it it does help the channel a lot and then i like any guys i'm videos do not leave before liking the video thank you so much guys for watching i'll meet you again on my next upload